Hello Techies and welcome back. I am your instructor Sambhav. This is the first part of SAS character functions. In the previous few videos we have studied numeric function. So if you have not gone through my previous videos you can go and check in the list and you can study numeric functions as well. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the updates on my latest video. So in today's session we are going to talk about the character functions and specifically we will be focusing on three very easy functions called as upcase, lowcase and propcase and then we will do some hands-on exercise. Uh, <clears throat> so by this time you would have understood what your upcase will do, lowcase will do and propcase will do. As I told you it is pretty easy. So guys these are the list of character functions which we are going to discuss in the coming sessions and in today's session we'll talk about upcase, lowcase, propcase. Other functions which is very commonly used are substring, length, length c, cat, cat x, cat t, cat s, can, left, right, trim, strip. So many of them are there. So it is going to be a very interesting session studying character functions. So let's start with upcase and upcase. Now, upcase, as you are very much aware of it, it is mainly used to convert the characters into uppercase. Upcase function in SAS is used to convert your characters into uppercase. And the syntax is pretty easy. You give the variable name, which is going to store the result. And you use the function upcase, and then you can specify the argument. So here, arguments can be your character value or character variable. Similarly, lowcase. It converts the characters into lowercase <coughs> and as uh, this is also the syntax which is very much similar to your upcase which is variable name which will to store the result and you can use lowcase and argument guys here I have written upcase the function the lowcase the function in all in uppercase it is not mandatory for you to write them in uppercase because as we know that SAS is not case sensitive except for the string values and similarly prop case it will convert everything into proper case proper case means first alphabet in uppercase of the words and rest all in small first alphabet in uppercase and rest all in small let's do some practical examples to understand this so let's let me create a data set called as case underscore one and let me give a value a is equal to let's say t e c H I E P E N T U R E S Techie Ventures, right? Now, well, that's the name of my company, guys. Now, let's say I want to convert it into uppercase. So, let's say up underscore case one is equal to very simple. I'll use the function up case and then I'll pass the argument. So, here the argument is a which is nothing but character variable. You can also use character value as well right so let's say now low case low underscore case one is equal to again i will use the function low case and i'll pass my argument which is character value sorry variable then we will do prop case one is equal to prop case of a right uh, guys you can also pass a uh, character value here as an argument I am using uh, 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 character variables but you can also use character uh, values let's say for example uh, up underscore case 2 is equal to uh, let's say up case up case of let's say I want to write a value let's say test T E S T, right? Similarly, I can also have pro, uh, locus. Let's try locus as well. Low underscore case two is equal to locus of uh, let's say techie T E C H I E, right? Let's execute the program to see the result. Similarly, you can also try for proper case, which is prop case as well. Rock print data is equal to case sorry case underscore one 
let's execute this code and see the result. See, Techie Ventures, which was basically of mixed few alphabets in uppercase, few alphabets in lowercase. So upcase has converted all the alphabets into uppercase, lowcase has converted everything into lowercase and propcase as you can see the first alphabet is in uppercase and rest all are in small case. So that is what a propcase will do. First alphabet in uppercase and rest of them in lowercase. Uh, similarly uh, uh, upcase, sorry this should be upcase. So you might have, uh, you might remember that uh, here I have given an example where we are passing argument as a character value so which has been converted into uppercase and this is your lowercase right now guys I have created another data set for us to use so let's say this is students right so let me execute this code and show you the result so let's assume that this is my student data set which has got three variables name subject and English let's apply uh, our functions character functions which we have studied just now on this particular data set let's assume that I want all the name to be in uppercase all the subject one to be in lowercase and all the subject to be in proper case now let's see how can we do this so let's say uh, we will give up case underscore one is equal to similarly we will specify the function and then we'll pass the variable name dollar and then for lowcase underscore one is equal to we will give lowcase and since we want to convert all the subject one into lowercase so we will specify subject one and finally let's convert subject two to proper case so let's give prop case underscore one is equal to prop case of subject 2 right so as you can see here I am converting name into uppercase subject 1 into lowercase and subject 2 into proper case so now I'll execute the code to see the result if we have got it correctly wow so we have got the results correctly so see uh, all the name has been converted into uppercase Ron Tom Rohit Amit Similarly, all the subject 1 has been converted into lowercase and all the subject 2 has been converted into proper case, right? So that is all for today guys. We have discussed upcase, prop case, low case. If you want the data sets and codes, please leave your email ID in the comment section. I will mail you the codes and the data set for you to practice. You can also leave your feedback so that I can improve on my videos and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let me know the list of topics you want to study in the coming sessions so that I can create those videos for you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day ahead.